Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Teague. I'm on location in the mountains of Georgia right now. We're at Destination Outdoor, but more importantly, let's take a look at something that's got a little facelift of sorts here. We've got the 2022 Lexus GX. This is one of the first ones to ever be seen, and it's got a feature that people have been asking about. If you're a Lexus owner, you know this for years. Now, the other cool thing about this, this is part of the new Black Line Edition, right? This is really nice, and you're gonna see some of these accents around here that tell you, hey, yo, it's Black Line. You'll see colors, three of them. We'll see Starfire Pearl, Nori Green Pearl, and Black Onyx. How about this? Now let's take a look around the vehicle. So you can see here, GX460. Of course, this would be an alternative to 4Runner. So if you're choosing a sport utility vehicle that's off-road capable, but luxury, you could go 4Runner, but could you go with this one right here, the GX? Now you'll see some blacked out edition. You'll see some black chrome. And then look at that profile. So what we're looking at here is a 4.6 liter V8 engine. It produces 301 horsepower, 329 foot pounds of torque. So it's got the chops to get up and go when you need it to, but boy, is it smooth when it accelerates. We tried it on some country roads. It holds its own very nicely. It's incredibly smooth. Hey, speaking of smooth, this comes with kinetic dynamic suspension system. KDSS, it's something that people ask for optionally on other vehicles like a 4Runner, but it gives you a smooth ride on the road, but it gives you that off-roading capability and performance that you're looking for in your off-roading beast. And what does KDSS look like? Well, traditionally you have a sway bar that's a one-piece design, it looks U-shaped. This one here has an articulator or a shock on either side, and so it can flex, but it can do it independently. So one side can twist and be flexible. The other one can be stationary. So it allows you articulation. It allows you help with rebound, control, performance, smooth ride on the road, tough ride off the road. This is matched with a six speed automatic transmission. You guys might see TRD John in the picture. What's up TRD John? All right, we've got triple beam LED headlights here, LED accent lights, along with LED fog lights down below. And because it's the black line edition, it has that unique housing as well. You'll see parking sensors in the front and in the rear. Look at that. Look at that hourglass shape here. But surrounding that hourglass shape, we've got black chrome, and that's part of the black line special edition. How does it look? So what are we looking at here? You'll see these unique Black roof rails, again, part of the package. It has smart key, auto unlock, push button start, all that jazz, but the smart unlock and lock is on the front two doors here. You'll see these black 18 inch wheels, sort of a dark metallic, almost like a dark grayish black. And of course these boards here, and what I like about them is they're actually formed. They're aerodynamically pleasing and styled, and it matches the styling all along here, but of course it has the function. You'll see turn signal indicator, as well as it has blind spot monitor, along with cross traffic alert. The back part of it, well, it looks like the back of a car, right? But it's got lots of trinkets, lots of surprises. It's like a haunted mansion. It's got lots of secret openings. For example, if I want to open up the door, I do it from the side. Mucho cool. And then we've got this right here. Push this little button and that'll pop the glass up, right? Has a 6,500 pound towing capacity. So get your boats and your trailers and your ATV toys, get them ready. Cause we're hitting the trails, right? And then look at this black darker chrome along here. Again, it's all part of the black line special edition. So let's open it up again. Here's what we have. Let's talk about our families. We're gonna have two people in the front. We could have three in the back, we could have two kids and a dog, we could have three kids. Where are we gonna put their friends? Where are we gonna put the dog's friends, right? Well, how about the back seat here? Because now we have the option for seven passenger seating if you need the extra storage room. And it's easy to put down, just like that. And more importantly, the reason why you wanna get that first aid kit. Let's say you're out camping, some things that you might need 
We've got a 120 volt, 100 watt plug-in. We've got tie downs. So you can clip, strap, bungee things down. Extra storage pockets, including cup holders for the back. All right, so let's get in. The seats are soft. I kind of fell right in, so that's nice. It's got a little tiny bit of a hump right here. No big deal though, a little hard, but it works for the third person. And again, this seat's a little bit more forward. This one's a little bit more back. And actually I said that wrong, but you know what I mean? This one gives you less room. This one gives you more room. So I've got plenty of leg room and head room here. And I do like the contrast with the dark and it's got pockets and then it's got heated seats in the back along with two different USBs and digital temperature. So tri-zone temperature controls. Here's our close-up look. Nice cup holder, really firm. It's got some substance to it. I like that. We're gonna get in, so we're going blog style here, vlog style. Look at the visibility here. Nice big windows all the way down. Blind spot seems to be okay on that one. A little bit right there, but it's not bad, obviously, with an off-roading type vehicle, you're gonna expect something like that. And then here we'll see the interior. It's gone modern with the multimedia system. Yes, it has. Let's walk in to see what we see here. Lexus plate. The seats are very comfortable. It's got lumbar support, multi-settings. It's got a moonroof, but it also comes with a black headliner which a lot of people ask for. They want that dark headliner. Let's come out here. You can see the grab handles, the oblique handles, and then it's got memory settings, two different settings. Nice deep storage there. I could see some drink holders, some bottle holders. Sort of has that light matte wood grain trim. Got power mirrors. You can get a multi-terrain monitor, which is like a panoramic view, overhead bird's eye view, a lot of people call it, if you get the off-road package. So take a look. Take a look at me now. Ow. Digital temperature controls. It has a CD player. It's got heated and cooled front seats. What do we have here? Holders. And then we've got our touchpad but there's more about that, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, the big news, the big reveal. So inside here, we've got let's see, one holder here with storage. And then watch what we can do. We've got individual buttons on either side and that controls the armrest. How many times do you wish that one side was forward, one side was back? Let's look here. Someone got it dirty. Could have been me. Also comes with power steering wheel with a leather wrap steering wheel with light accent stitching. Easy to use controls. Our information display here has different pieces of information. Just like that. For me, I'm a big fan of this right here, heated steering wheel. All right, let's look at this information display. This is a 10.3 inch display. It's the current system that a lot of Lexus owners and fans are used to. And we still have our touchpad that can control our scroll just like that. And we can go through because we're doing this. But what if I don't want to do that? Oh, somebody found a touch screen. Somebody found a touch screen. That's pretty exciting because now if you're getting used to that touch screen and you don't know quite how to use that touch pad, I should say, if you're not used to the touch pad, then you can control all of your functions 
by touch, which is really cool. That's a big improvement, and that's a reason why you might want to upgrade. Really cool. And if I want to just tick the... Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you found the video helpful. We got bugs flying even on the screen. You probably can see them. But anyway, what do you think of this GX here? What do you think of Nori Green Pearl? How about that multimedia upgrade? Pretty sharp, right? Thanks so much. Please subscribe to Auto Jeff Reviews if you're looking for the latest in automotive news across all brands. Thank you guys so much. I'm also on Toyota Jeff Reviews YouTube channel as well, focusing on the Toyota brand. Lexus too. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. You can find me on Instagram at Auto Jeff Reviews. See you next time.